All right, guys, thank you all so much for being here with me today. So I tried to do a training last month on creating reels with Canva, uh, but it was a disaster. I'm not going to lie. My Zoom was not working. So I just wanted to redo this training, you guys, and just give you guys some tips um, as far as how I create my reels and kind of what I do. OK, I don't only use Canva for creating reels, uh, but Canva is a it's a big lifesaver, right? All right, guys, if you don't know me, hello, hello. I'm so excited that you are here with us today. My name is Brittany Maxwell. I am a platinum consultant and my team name is Vision Quest. We are a sub team of Team Sky. My mentor is Emily Jimenez. And I have been with the Archer and Evolution family for over two years, you guys. I signed on in May of 2021. And if you guys have been with the company uh, is, you know, any amount of time, uh, you guys know that this is the place to be, right? It is, I'm going to say this 100%. This is the place to be, okay? Um, your income potential is absolutely uncapped. And the support systems that we receive through this company is absolutely amazing. So I do highly recommend it, even if you guys have those rough patches to just get through them, okay? Just get through them. All right, guys, so today we're going to be going over Canva and how I create reels in Canva. All right, I will go back to the chat, you guys, every couple of minutes just to make sure that I'm not missing any questions. Um, and we are, yes, I will record this, you guys, okay? Um, I will put it on my YouTube. And if you guys want, at the end of the session, I'll put my YouTube out there so that you guys can. Uh, go on there and see all the recordings that I have, okay? Because I do mock bookings, I do vendor trainings and all kinds of different things. Um, and we have a question, awesome. So can we use the free version of Canva for creating Rails? Yes, you absolutely can use the free version. Um, if you guys don't have Canva Pro, that is all right, okay? I'll show you guys how you can tell what's pro and what's not and what is for the free version, okay? Um, so you guys, if you know what reels are, I'm pretty sure you are because a lot of us do nowadays. Uh, they have grown exponentially over the last couple of years. And I'm not saying that I am a real queen or anything like that. None whatsoever. OK, I just do my due diligence and do my research. And um, I just find that reels reach a lot further than our actual postings. OK, but don't so want to. Anytime I do mock bookings, I turn them into reels. So that's definitely an option that you guys have also. Okay. All right. Uh, someone was talking. Do you guys have a question? Yes. No. I have a question. Is the reels kind of like when TikTok where they like show pictures? Is that what you're talking about? Because I don't know a lot about Canva and I'm still learning how to do mock bookings and all that stuff. Yeah. So, so a reel is just a short form of a video. Um, some of our reels can be over than a, over a minute long, but I usually try to keep my reels anywhere from 30 seconds to 60 seconds, right? Because let's face it, you guys, attention spans are short and the shorter our clips are, I, I'm not saying make, you know, a five minute reel or whatever, um, but I would definitely stick to anywhere from a minute to a minute and a half for a reel. Uh, and and it's, you can make anything into a reel. Any of our mock bookings that we create, you have the option to put those onto reel. Um, so on our Instagram feed, you guys, when you're on there and you're uploading your images, you have the option to uh, do a post. You have the option to do a story. And they also have that tab now so that you can create a reel. So you can create reels directly in the social media sites like Facebook and Instagram and even TikTok. OK, um, I'm not as familiar with TikTok as I am Facebook and Instagram. So, um, you know everybody's different and everybody's platform that they really like to utilize. You know, not everybody uses TikTok, not everybody uses uh, Facebook, but the same concept can be pulled forward for all of the social media apps. Okay. So it's pretty much the same way you create reels. Uh, you could do it directly in the apps or you can do it onto Canva and then upload it to, you know, your YouTube. Okay. 
All right, guys. So creating high quality reels for me is going to be done through Canva. Canva is the easiest for me to use. All right. No, guys, I'm going to mute you. Okay. If you have to unmute yourself, definitely feel free to do that. Okay. I want you guys to be comfortable with asking questions. Um, and, you know, if you have questions, I might miss them unless I go back to the chat right away. Okay. Okay, so reels, the way that I compare the two is going to be between shareable reels and savable reels, okay? Um, and it, it doesn't matter what platform, guys, it's the same content, okay? So when I'm thinking of my uh, shareable reels, I think of like travel scenes, all right, like travel memes. I mean, even like a behind the scenes uh, look at your vacation. So. Uh, the really cool thing about Reels, you guys, is that we can take our own travel experiences and turn them into Reels so our viewers can see that we travel also, right? Our own content that we have on our phone is some of the best that you can use for your Reels, okay? So savable content is going to be like informational videos, right? So these, these, um, if savable reels, um, I like to use them as, um, so think of it like this, okay? So a history of a place, or if you're planning a trip, right? And you're giving tips for those trips, okay? All right, guys. And another way that you can tell to do reels is by using the reels to tell a story okay so i find that telling a story in the reels is one of the best way to get those out all right and some of them they do fall into different categories okay so showcasing a hidden a hidden spot right like uh, a free observation um deck or um sharing travel tips or creating a, a travel guide, okay? Um, and a good way to look at this would be like if you are traveling to, let's say Yosemite, right? National Park, all right? There's certain spots that not every visitor might know about. You can add those sweet spots into, let's say a bucket list travel, right? All right, guys, and for us, we are that travel business, okay? So it is extremely important for us to showcase our services, all right? And to showcase what the experience our clients are likely to receive, okay? We can sell trips on our reels. We can, we can show people what to expect on their trips, all right? And also, we can show them why they should book with us versus doing it themselves, all right? And always add your services information on whatever your selling point is. That way it gives your viewers an insider glimpse of what that vacation could look like for them and what you can offer for them, okay? Um, if you guys are okay with creating your own content, uh, don't worry too much about like the technique of how you are videoing, okay? You, you shouldn't have to worry about your panning or anything like that. The main thing that you really should worry about if you are creating your own reels is going to be the angles that you do your content in, okay? All right, guys, so what I like to do, can you guys see my screen? I just want to make sure everybody can see Canva, All right? Let me go back onto Zoom and just make sure. Yes, we can see it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. Okay. So this is my Canva, you guys. I do utilize Canva Pro. Um, if you are looking at expanding your content, I do recommend Canva Pro for a lot of reasons, okay? The number one reason to use Canva Pro is because of their content planner, right? You can plan out your content on a weekly basis, on a two week basis, or even, you know, a monthly basis. If you guys have, you know, the time to schedule out a month in advance. Absolutely. Okay. So our content planner is really cool within Canva, right? I've only done for this week. I did this yesterday. 
right? So at Sunday, I will go in and I will go ahead and schedule my content for the next week. But if you guys have a couple of hours on a weekend that you can sit down and plan out your content for the whole month, it does save you some time, okay? So this is one of the main reasons why I do have Canva Pro is because of this content planner. All right, so let me go back into our home. All right, so the easiest way you guys to do the reels is going to our videos, okay? So with the video tab, you have your videos, mobile videos, Facebook videos, and our Instagram reels, okay? You can create one from scratch if you guys have the time and the patience to do that, okay? If you don't, that is okay, all right? We can scroll down until we find Instagram reels, okay? We'll click on see all, all right? And if you want to search only travel reels, you can type it in at the search bar at the top, okay? Travel reels. I'm sorry, how did you get to that page? Uh, on Canva? Here, let me go back home. All right, on the top, did you'll you, see what? And did you get videos? Pages. Yeah, I just, I just clicked on videos. All right, and once you click on the videos, it will open up our templates, okay? And then yeah. I just scroll down until I find the reels, all right? But you don't even have to do that. If you just wanna use the search bar, you can type in the search bar travel reels and Canva will pull up all of the reels that they have available that are travel themed, okay? And the really cool thing about Canva, you guys, if you are familiar or just somewhat familiar with Canva, is you do have the option to edit the images and make them your own. So if you see a video that you like, but you don't necessarily like the background, you can change all of that, okay? All right, so back to can we use free Canva for our reels? Yes, 100%, all right? You see these little this little tag right here, it says pro. That's going to be for pro users of Canva, all right? This very next one, it does not have that little crown. So this would be the free version of Canva. So anybody that has Canva that's free, you guys can still utilize all of their free content. You can make it your own, okay? But if you look just a little bit, you guys can see the content that we have as pro users. It, there's a little bit more, okay? So look, Canva's only like $19 a month. It might even be cheaper than that. I do it by a year because I can get it for a full year for $99 for the year. So think about it, you guys, because there's so many aspects to Canva that you don't get with the free version, okay? Um, so let's just, I'm just going to choose one of the free versions, you guys, because, you know, I don't want to work on a paid template when some of us in here don't have that paid version, okay? So let me just find one. Um, we'll choose this one. I like this one, okay? So once you actually click on a design, it's going to pull up more like this and it gives me 25 other templates, all right? So let me make sure that all of these are free. Yes, so all of these are going to be that free version of Canva. Okay, well, not all of them. There are a couple that do have the pro that pro mark on there. But look at just what's available on just this one page for us to use as our reels, okay? Absolutely amazing. I love Canva, you guys, All right? So I'm just going to stick with this first one, All right? And I'll customize this template. All right. Let's see. Let's get that going. Okay. So let's say there are videos within the one video okay so i know that sounds crazy but i'll show you so each of the little clips that you see they have different videos inside of it okay so you have the option to change those or you could leave them the same right if you want to change it actually click on the backdrop of the video that you see and you're able to change it, okay? So if you want to change the one little clip that you see right there, you're just gonna go on to your menu tab, okay? And you'll just scroll down to videos, all right? And you'll just type in, so let's say, um, let's do Florida, right? Let's see what it pulls up for Florida. 
So any of the little short clips that they have for Florida, they're going to be able to populate right there. Okay. And all you do, you guys, is you grab that little video and you hover it over, right? If it'll hover, there we go. And it changes it right over, right? And if I decide, oh, no, I'm not too sure. I don't really like that, right? I just click that undo button at the top. And it's going to take that video off of there, okay? And let me go back into my Zoom, you guys, and make sure I'm not missing any questions, okay? Oh, uh, let's see. How do we implement your travel worlds or advertise for your businesses? All right, that's actually that's a good question, okay? Everything that we do on our page for our content. Guys, we can turn it into reels, okay? So our mock bookings, we can turn into reels. If you're advertising services for your business, you can turn those into reels, okay? And if once you guys get enough followers on Facebook, if you change your profile from a personal profile to an entrepreneur's profile, you have the option of getting paid for the content that you create, okay? um let's see i just want to make sure i'm not missing anybody excuse me how did you get all those little videos on the left there i missed what you pressed okay so it, there are four little videos that are in the post itself so what we do if we want to change those uh we just click on the little video all right because there's four of them guys so i'll have to click on each one of them if i want to change it okay and i just choose the video that i like uh, so we did Florida. All right. And that's what it pulled up. I, I love Florida. You guys, if you, I do, I, lo I love Florida. I do. <laughs> but if any of the videos that you see kind of really speaks to you, you just grab that video and just hover it over the image and it will change it over for you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Okay. Let me go back and make sure I can make stop that actually. Yeah. I can't find that video at all or that reel at all. Are these Thank your you. own reels, Brittany, or are these ones that you found it on Canva? These are reels that I just find on Canva. I do okay. create my own reels when it comes to mock bookings. Um, and if I have the time, you guys, I will sit and create my own my own reels for content. But Canva has, let me go back so I can show you guys, okay? All right, so this is going to be... Uh, this is all from Canva. These are all little video reels. It says 52,000 templates that we have available to use for reels, okay? So all I did was typed in travel reels at the top, and it pulled up all of the reels that we have available, okay? Well, not we, but Canva. <laughs> I love it, you guys. Canva's so cool. All right, is everybody good on where to get those reels and where to find that content on Canva? I have a quick question. Yes. Uh, you said something about changing our profile to entrepreneur. Is that in Canva or Facebook? Where, where on was that? Facebook. You have on to Facebook. do that on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Oh, uh, let me go back into our chat, you guys. Let's see. Uh, yes, I will do a Q&A. So if you guys have any questions, you will get to those also at the end. Okay. Because I see somebody ask for a Q&A. Um, let's see, limited reels if you use the free ones. Yes, that is right. You will have limited reels if you use the free version of Canva. Um, you can upload your own videos to Canva, you guys. So if you are on Canva and you are trying to create content from scratch, let me go back and I'll show you, okay? All right. Okay, you guys should be able to see this, all right? Um, we'll go back onto our back onto our homepage, okay? We'll click videos. If you have content that you want to make for your own, start with a blank reel. That'll give you a template. It's got five seconds added onto it and you'll be able to add your content into that, okay? So I have some images that I've uploaded earlier. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, like this one, okay? Oh, let me delete that. Let me show you how to... Put it on the whole entire page there we go i know it doesn't look right okay because it's not centered correctly or we anything can't see like your that. screen we can't see your screen there thank you, go. you thank you i even pressed that screen share button okay so here this is what i do it's a blank it's a blank canva right so this is just one of the mock bookings i did at the beginning of the the end of last week okay so i just grabbed that image and i threw it on there 
right? I want to edit the photo. I can crop it. So it's just him coming down the slide, all right? And click done, all right? If I want to add another image, or it's going to be another five second image or a five second clip, all right? I'm not going to keep this. I'm just showing you guys how easy it is for you to make your own reels, okay? All right, and we could press play and so you could see what that looks like. It doesn't have any words or anything like that. It doesn't have audio or anything. It's just the images that I just put on there, but you guys see me do that, so. All right, you can add audio to your reels, all right? You can start back at the beginning and go to your menu tab and scroll down to audio. All right, there is going to be more content for your audio that you have available in the pro version, okay? So I have looked it up several different times to see what is available for the free version of Canva and the, the audio, you know, not too good on, on Canva with the free version. Um, but you do have the option to download the reel that you have created to your phone. And when you upload it to either TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, you can add audio directly from the Facebook app or directly from the Instagram app. OK, y'all make it your own. Right. Have fun with it and make it your own. OK, uh, let's go back into our travel tab. All right. So that is. Super simple to really do, you guys. And when it comes to the content that you create, just be creative. Like that's that's all that I can really say, okay? Be creative as to what you want your content to say. And always add a caption, all right? Always add captions to your content, all right? And with us, you guys, when it comes to our mock bookings, we do like to put a good bit of information onto our mock bookings. And I say this because I do use our reels for mock bookings quite a lot, all right? With our reels, it's going to be shorter content, mini content, all right? So the captions that you put on there, they need to have those keywords. They need to have hashtags, okay? So that your content gets seen even further, all right? Okay, let me go make sure that I am not missing any questions. Uh, audio, okay, the audio tab, you guys, is going to be in the menu, right? It's gonna be between photos and videos, okay? All right. You can also add elements. All right. Your elements are just going to be kind of what you see. This is my logo. You guys, it's a starfish. All right. I put my logo on there and I put the little um, airplane through it. Right. I love that logo. That's fine. You guys can use it, whatever, do what you want. Right. Because I, I mean, it's, it says vacations with Brittany whenever I do it anyway. So. So there was a question and it said that is a, the audio copyrighted? Is there a copyright on any of this stuff on Canva? Not if you use it through Canva, okay? And what I have found out with Canva, if you want to use the audio in Canva, you need to upload directly from Canva, okay? So if you have Canva Pro, you can get all of your social medias connected. Here, let me, let me go back into our home and I'll show you, all right? You can connect all of your social media All right, let me go to my content planner because that's the easiest place for me to show you, okay? So it's World Emoji Day on the 17th, okay? So I want to create uh, a reel for the World Emoji Day, okay? All right, I'm going to click whatever content, whatever reel that I've created, and I'm going to select my channel, okay? This is the main reason why I have Canva Pro, you guys. If you are using a different a uh, content planner app, that's fine, okay? You can use whatever content planner app that you want. But if you can make your content and send it to all of the platforms in one app, it's so much easier, it really is, okay? So if I create a reel and I add audio, I'm going to post it directly from Canva into my social media, all right? It 
cancels out any of those copyright issues. So if you download the reel that you've created with audio and you download it to your phone and then you upload it to social media, there might be those copyright infringements, okay? So while you're creating that audio, make sure that you upload directly from Canva, right? So I have my LinkedIn business page, I have my Instagram business page, my Facebook, and also Twitter. You guys, I have no idea how to use Twitter. Um, uh, it's for me, it's more political. So I stick with the platforms that I am familiar with, which is going to be Facebook and it's going to be Instagram. OK, you do have the option of connecting TikTok to your Canva. Right. But you can only post videos to TikTok through Canva. So just know that. All right. You can get your TikTok connected to your Canva, which is super cool. How do you connect all that? Uh, let's see. All right. So if you're in, all right, let me just, let me just try to do a social media post. Okay. Let's do Instagram. All right. I've used this one before. All right. So once you get ready to share, you'll click share, right? You'll click share on social. And then it's going to give you that option. See, we have Instagram, Facebook page, Twitter, Facebook groups, TikTok, Facebook story, Pinterest, you guys. We have LinkedIn, our LinkedIn profile, because you know we have the two options, just like Facebook, to have a profile and also a business page. And we have Tumblr, All right? Once you get ready to go to Instagram, right, it will send you um, to Instagram. It'll ask you to connect those pages. You guys have to you have to select yes, that you want Canva to post or it's not going to connect the two sites, okay? And the same way with all of our social media, make sure that you, you, you'll click Instagram, all right? Mine's already connected, so it's not going to show you that option, okay? So let's see, let me see if I can do TikTok because I am have not connected TikTok on it, okay? So with TikTok, you'll just scan the little app or scan the QR code and it will, let me upload it through TikTok like that, okay? Um, it's It doesn't take a lot of time to actually get it connected to your social medias, you guys, but honestly, it saves so much time. All right, and if you wanna schedule out, I see your question, if you wanna schedule out your content, all right, you're going to click, all right, share to social and schedule. Once you click schedule, it's going to pull up the date. You can choose whatever date. All right. So if we want to do it on the 13th, all right, we can change the time to 11. All right. And it'll click next and it'll ask you to select what channel that you want to post to. OK, what I do is I will click whatever one I want. I'll write out my content that I want. All right. And I'll schedule it. All right. Once it schedules, then I will go into my content planner. I'll show you guys how to do that also, okay? I go into my content planner. All right, and I, if it shows up, there we go, there we go. Okay, I'll make a copy, all right? If you don't make a copy, if you just change it from LinkedIn to Instagram, all right? You're not going to be posting to both accounts. You're only going to be posting to Instagram. So make that copy, right? You'll be able to choose the next platform that you want to use, right? And so that's why you guys see four of my posts, okay? That's why one, two, three, four. I have to make a copy of each so that I am able to schedule out that content to each different page, okay? So let me take this off of here, you guys. I don't want that on there. So let me delete this, All right? Delete post, All right? And one more, let me delete this one, All right? Because I already have my content scheduled out for this week. I don't want to just have some random posts on there, All right? So when it comes to mock bookings, that is the only thing that I don't schedule out, All right? Because we do our, we do a lot of our mock bookings live at the time that we're doing it, okay? So that's why you don't see any of my mock bookings in my content planner because I don't, you know, I don't schedule out my, my mock bookings like that, all right? So if I don't like this design, you guys, I can click on the full design itself, right? Click design and I could change it, right? All right, 
If I don't like that design, I like that actually, I could change it, right? If there's a video or an image that I have on my phone that I want to use, I will just click upload, right? And I'll be able to upload videos. I'll be able to upload audio. You can even record yourself through Canva, you guys, and do content like that also, okay? All right, let's see. How do you add from your phone to Canva? Uh, I just clicked that upload and it just uploads it right away. Um, yes, Pinterest is just another platform. If anybody's familiar with uh, Pinterest, let us know. Um, some of us are, some of us is not, okay? All right, let me see. The issue that you have found with scheduling with Canva is that when you have posted to Instagram directly from Canva, it doesn't then automatically share it to Facebook. You have to go to Instagram and manually share it. If I download pictures and post it in the Instagram app, it will automatically post to Facebook. Yes, okay. So I know it's weird the way that it does that, okay? So if you schedule out your designs in Canva, you will only be able to upload to Instagram. So with our Instagram business and our Facebook business, you can actually connect the two together. So if you go directly to Instagram and you post something on your business page, it's automatically going to go to your Facebook business page. Canva's not like that, okay? With Canva, you have to actually schedule it out for um, Instagram. You have to actually schedule it out for Facebook, okay? Um, I have added all these channels. Hey, except thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Wonderful. Um, do you have certain time to post on each? Okay, yes, I do. All right, and so this is my recommendation, you guys. When you are doing your content, search Google the best times to post on social media. All right, you will find a uh, like a site or uh, I don't know, um, you know, just you will find a site that gives you the information that you need so that you can see the best times to post on Instagram, the best times to post on Facebook, the best times to you know, post on TikTok. Uh, I, I, I found a site here a while back. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but yeah, we have to do our research, okay? We have to do our research. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but one night I was doing, I was reading this, um, the content page that, you know, tells you the best times to post on social media. And it said that the best time to post on Instagram was like one o'clock in the morning. I was like, absolutely not. Nobody is up at one o'clock in the morning. Like I'm not up at one o'clock in the morning. Why would I do that? Right? So I went in and I scheduled my content to post at one o'clock in the morning. You guys, when I got up the next morning, when I tell you to follow those posting schedules, Follow the posting schedules, even if it tells you four o'clock in the morning, because it's going to be on point. I had more people share my content at one o'clock in the morning than I do posting every single day of the week. OK. All right, let me see if I can find the site for you. All right, so here we have one. It's from Hootsuite. I think that's what it's called. All right, so let me grab this link for you guys and I will post this into the chat for you. <laughs> Aurora says, yep, you're on out. 1 a.m. Y'all, I'm sleeping. <laughs> All right, okay guys, so that is really just like the shortest training that I could give you on creating reels. Uh, let's go in. If you guys have questions, anything like that, we'll get to those. Um, and let me go ahead and stop our screen share. Um, the main thing, you guys, is you're going to have to play around with the site, okay? You're going to have to play with the reels. You're going to have to play with your content. At first, you're going to be like I was, you know, no, I don't think I'm going to do this. I don't think I'm going to do this. Y'all, reels are huge. You're, you can grow your page. 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 followers in a matter of months by just creating reels. You don't even have to do posts. You can just make reels. Uh, if you go to Instagram right now, a lot of the content that you're going to see is going to be the reels, right? Take advantage of what's hot right now and get those reels out there. Of course, your first couple of reels, you're going to sit back and be like, oh, did I really do that? It's okay, right? It's a learning process. 
the more you get yourself onto social media, the more you get onto Canva and you play around with all this, you guys, the more comfortable comfortable you are going to feel creating that content for yourself, okay? All right, let me get you my YouTube link, you guys, and I'll put that out into our chat also. All right, and I wanna make sure I haven't missed anybody's questions. Uh, let's see. All right, there's my YouTube. That should go directly to my YouTube, all right? Um, Lee says, you have different ways of doing reels. You create and edit your reels on Canva and add trending audio and Instagram, publish now or schedule it out, then upload it on Facebook. Yes, that's perfect. You know, whatever works for you guys, do it, okay? And that is actually a really good idea too, because I'm not, I didn't mean to say it like actually like a really good idea. That is a really good idea. Because if you don't have the paid version of Canva, the audio is going to be really small in Canva. So utilize the audio that we have on Facebook. Utilize the audio that we have on Instagram, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, if you are regular in posting on Facebook Meta, will you give suggestions on that best time to post? Um, I post on Facebook. Um, it, it really just differs, you guys, okay? Um, Mondays for me are going to be the highest time, okay? Uh, I don't know why, but I, I love doing my content on Mondays. I, I really don't. Um, and on the weekends, when it comes to my mock bookings, I really like to do my mock bookings on the weekend, right? A lot of people during the weekend, what are they doing? They're at home. They're tired of working, right? They want to be on social media. They want to be scrolling. They want to just relax, okay? Um, how do you connect TikTok? It does not show up as an option. Uh, that is right, Jennifer. It has to be the correct post. So you won't have the option to upload just images okay you have to have a video so just go on to canva um create a video right and then you should be able to connect your TikTok together do you have to have the pro in order to connect all your social media yes you do you do i have a That's free what I trial. Say, guys. think I, about it okay i have the free trial and uh, it hasn't kicked in yet but i was going to go upgrade to the pro but and then connect to my social media but I, it's not showing that I can do it yet yeah uh, and I would definitely recommend if you have the option to pay for the full year um, it is a lot cheaper paying the full year rather than paying you know $19 a month so Brittany it's letting me without having a post ready connect my other social medias so you're saying until I have a post ready that will be can compatible with TikTok, I can't connect it. Is that what you mean? Yes, ma'am. That's correct. Okay. Just checking what you meant. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and what about creating reels on YouTube? Okay. So Canva does have a YouTube video option. So you can create YouTube videos directly from Canva and you can upload them to YouTube also. Okay. Um, or if you create a reel on Canva, you can change the size of it, okay? You can change it to YouTube pixels so that you can upload it uh, to YouTube also, okay? Um, Penny says, how do you put your contact info on the reel? Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a good question. Let me go back onto Canva real fast and I'll show you, okay? All right, let me share this screen with you guys. So it's super easy to put your contact information on there, All right? So we probably already have one of them pulled up. We'll just click on the one that we were on. All right. If it doesn't have any wording, if it doesn't have any verbiage, you can click on text and you can add a text box. Okay. All right. But if it already has that wording on there, you just click on the wording and you can say all of your contact information right there, right? I didn't spell vacations right. No, I did not. <laughs> That's okay. I know how to spell vacations, you guys. All right, vacations with Brittany, right? And I would just put all of my contact information on there. I can make it smaller, all right? If I don't like the font, I can change the font and you will be able to see which one, um, which of the fonts are for the free Canva and which one are for 
uh, the pro version, okay? So there is a lot of fonts that you do have the option to use even with that free version, all right? And what I like to do, you guys, I have my own web page that I created and I will go and add a QR code, okay? So in the app section, I'm not sure if you can do this with the free version, okay? I'll type in QR code, right? QR code generator, and it's gonna pull up the QR code generators. And I always use this one right here. Uh, and I'll type in my website. You can use it if for the free version. Wonderful. Right, and that is the QR code that takes them to my website, right? This is my own personal website. This isn't the travel site that we do receive from Archer and Evolution. Uh, I love the travel site, you guys, that we receive from Archer and Evolution. But at the end of the day, what are we trying to do? We're trying to get ourselves out there. We're trying to get our brand out there. We're trying to get our travel business out there. So that having your own website, that's another means of marketing and advertising for you guys. Because I'm always telling people, oh, go to my website, go check out my website, go check out my website, All right? And also with our website, you guys, we have the option of putting our affiliate links on there, our golden tickets, our uh, cruise affiliate links. Um, what is it, Viator? Uh, yeah, Viator. And for me, you guys, I am all about that free stuff, right? And I'm pretty sure where do you go to get your uh website are also okay uh i used to have that free site right give me one second and i'll pull it up let me see if i can get it pulled up right here so everybody has a different favorite when it comes to how they want to build their website, right? You can actually create a website in Canva, okay? You can do a Google website, you can do a Wix website, uh, GoDaddy has a site that you can make um, websites. So uh, honestly, I've tried all of them, you guys, and Wix was the easiest for me to use, okay? So this is the site that I created, right? I did this all myself, not perfect, not at all, not 100%, right? And every day I go to it, I'm like, oh, I gotta add this. Oh, I gotta add that. But y'all, there's so much that we have access to, right? You'll start your website and a year from now, you're still going to be making edits to your site. That's normal, okay? It's not going to be perfect. If you shoot for perfect, you're not going to get your site live, right? You're just gonna wait and wait and wait and wait, right? Do your site, make it as good as you can get it, unless you pay someone and then if you pay someone props on the back because like i said i'm all about that free right so we have the about section right who am i um and this is literally just about me and i actually have to update this because it's kind of outdated so i will be updating my site right and our online bookables you guys this is where i put my affiliate links okay this is where they can go to our viator right our golden tickets concerts theaters okay and let's see vacations um this is where they can request that free quote right so don't miss out on what i can offer corporate groups church groups reunions all-inclusive resorts right i love my site you guys it's not perfect by no means whatsoever but it it's me it, it is it really is right and then that contact page Right. I used a free template from Wix. OK, so you definitely have the option to do that. Uh, when I click on vacations, it just takes them to the, the vacation package. There's not a vacation package that they can book themselves on my site, but they can request that free quote, you guys. And that takes them to our job form. I love job form. Um, I've had it for two years now. Um, it's never really given me any kind of issues, but this is like our qualifying form, right? If I have someone that gives me a call, 
and I'm talking with him. All right. I'm working with him over the phone. I will go onto my own quote form, my own job form, and I will fill out this form as I'm speaking with my clients. Okay. So I do it like this because honestly, if I don't have this in front of me, I'm going to forget half of the things that I have to ask them. So I put this in front of me. I mark off everything that they need. Right. And then I submit it to myself. I know it's crazy, but it's, it's easy for me to keep up with it like that. So the job form, did you make that up yourself? Yes. So what I did was I went to um, job form and I actually searched for templates until I found one that was as close to what I wanted. And then I edited it and made it just, I added all of the extra information. Cause if you guys are on job form and you see, they don't have everything that we want on our forms and everybody's form is going to be different. Okay. Um, if you are specializing in cruises, then your form might only be for cruises. Right. If you specialize in are all inclusive, your form might only be all inclusive. Right. But I have all of that on there. Um, my I love our Holy Land tours, you guys. Um, I'm a big faith based travel. I love the faith based travel, but I also grew up right across the street from a Baptist church. So that, you know, that really does speak to me. OK, so how do you know what what to put on your job form? Um, so you can go to the travel cafe and there is a quote form, I believe in the travel cafe, just use the information from the travel cafe plus more, right? Um, Maggie, Maggie's Megs, I'm just going to call you Meg. Meg said, if you search, you deserve a vacation on job form. That's a good way to start, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's our it's the inquiry form. It's the form that, you know, all of our potential clients fill out when they are looking at getting information um, or even, you know, it's that qualifying form. Right. Of course, once you get that form, you're going to have to call your client. You know, we do that. But having that form is so much easier. Is it free? I'm just curious. Yes. That form is free. Uh, you can pay for it. But why? why if you can get it for free um if you guys aren't if you guys don't want to use jot form google has forms that you can make just like jot form okay oh let's see wix wix does have that paid version but you don't have to pay for wix okay you can get it for free All right, if you want a domain yeah, you'll have to pay for your domain. But honestly, you guys, if you want a domain, there's other sites that you can use to buy your domain. So you're not paying $30 a month for a domain. Okay. And what are they? Um, so we have, uh, hang on, let me look. So I use Ionis. It's spelled, no, I did not spell that right. Right. So I your use Ionis.com. It's a dollar your a month. page is free and your domain your domain name is also free you didn't pay for that either no i did pay for my domain vacationswithbrittany.com i did pay for that but i paid for it through ionis and it's literally a dollar a month you guys oh i need that <laughs> yes yes so just go on to ionis.com they'll give you, you the option that? Um, I put it into the chat. It's I O N O S. I think. Let me make sure I spelled that right. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, that's what it is. So you'll have the option to act to get a web mail, like a an email address, also, which I did do that because I like having uh, that web mail also. Um, if your domain is already taken, you should have the option or the site that you're on will give you several options that you can choose from um, for a domain, okay? So if you have, let's say, vacations with Amanda, right? I know that's not your travel name, but uh, you'll have the option if that's taken to pick something along that same lines, okay? All right, y'all, let me just make sure. Thank you. You're so very welcome, you guys. I love your questions. You guys have been a wonderful group. Um, let's see. Oh, Brandon says, okay, bye. I got to go finish dinner. Yeah, I'm going to go eat dinner also too. 
Oh, all right, guys. I've got everybody's questions. Um, if you guys get off of here and you are doing your reels and you have questions, just look me up. All right, find me. Um, you guys have my YouTube. I put that out into the chat. I'll put it out there one more time just in case. Uh, you guys can comment on my YouTube channel. Um, you can find me on Facebook. You know, any way that you can find me, I'm I'm here to help. All right. So if you guys have questions, definitely let me know. Okay. All right, y'all. And I hope you guys got something out of our training, right? Thank you. It's very good. Thank you. Um, I should have these weekly. Really? <laughs> we might think about that. I do trainings every week, you guys, several times a week. This is actually, I think this is my third one this week. And I have a mock booking on Thursday. Um, I do mock bookings every Thursday. Okay. The time does change because, you know, life happens. Sometimes we have to change our times. And also I'm a homeschool mom. Okay. So I have to make my trainings revolve around my, my seven-year-old. Okay. <laughs> so if you guys see me sometimes doing trainings at two o'clock in the day, and then you see them at seven o'clock at night, that's why, right? I have, I'm homeschool mom. Oh, my entrepreneur training, you guys, I am going to have to postpone that for next week. Um, I have a lot going on tomorrow. I have uh, ENT appointments, different things like that. A terrible, terrible ear infection from my flight home from convention. Uh, still trying to get that, but I will reschedule it. Okay. I will make sure to put that out into the rising tide chat so that all the platinums in the rising tide chat also know that I do have to go ahead and change that over. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I will be here Thursday for mock booking. I think this, this, this week we're going to do promotions. Um, so I'll go on to Vax and, and find that. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I didn't want to reschedule it, you guys, but uh, I've been feeling so sick lately. I didn't want to like overdo it because I do have more trainings. Um, well, a meeting tomorrow. So Brittany. Yes, ma'am. What's the difference between posting to your story versus posting to your feed in on Instagram? OK, so your story, it's going to stay right there. It's going to stay on your story feed. OK, but if you post it to your feed, um, it's going to be available for everybody to see. Everybody can see your story, but more likely only the people that are connected to your page is going to see your story. Okay. And I, yeah, I just seen your question. Sorry about that. That's okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You're so very welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for being here. And y'all, yeah, you know, I just realized I had my camera on the whole time. <laughs> I didn't even see myself. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, let me go ahead and stop our recording. I can't believe I didn't stop that already, neither.